Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Dungeon Boys. This will be the final episode, right? Uh, we think so. We're going to give it a shot. Yeah, of Josh's... We, the, that pause after a final episode, everybody calm down. It's not going to be the final episode of Dungeon Boys. That's right. That's it's right. just the final episode of Josh's one-off campaign, which... We are happen. just... Getting warmed up, people. which has been a wonderful swamp journey so far with Stump and yeah, um, I really feel like we just got started. Yeah, we did just get this. started. Well, yeah. honestly, a one recording session for regular Dungeon Boys, you would have all been, you wouldn't have left a single room by this time. <laughs> honestly, the way that no, we I go. mean, like in Dungeon Boys in general, I feel like we've been oh. going like we've done very little. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but like that just leaves it open to so many possibilities. But. Um, Bryce, you want to recap us quickly what from last time? Yeah. We done the thing. So, where did we... Did we make it to the cabin by the end? Or? Uh, yes. Y'all were in the cabin, and okay. you found some stuff. All right. Yep. So, we came ashore, and we found a cabin in the woods, and we were attacked by some little bat mosquitoes called mm-hmm. Sturges. Mm-hmm. Me and... Stump managed to fight them off, and we made it into the cabin. The cabin was in a state of disrepair, but it didn't look like it had ever been in a state of repair to begin with. Um, While searching through everything, we found a map that outlined the location of the giant scary monster we've been looking for. Very rough map. Very rough map. But y'all are are right up on it. It was really just a big blob that said swamp, and around it was a label that said not swamp. Yeah. (laughs) But anyway, there was several circles all encompassing a message that said he is here. Concentric circles. Yes. And we thought that, or at least I thought that that was just somebody scribbling over and over again in the same shape. But I'll get to that in a minute. We've also found a hidden secret panel inside the cabin. And when we opened it, we found several health potions and some documents about the creature and about a man hiding in the swamp. And we believe that he, as written on the map, is the druid that is hiding in the swamp. He is hiding from the Continental Army because he was sent, or he was made to be culled by them. He was scheduled. Yes. Scheduled for a culling. We followed the culling team there, and we found that they had been destroyed before we got there. By a druid, by that druid boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we got stuck in some quicksand, and he approached us and told us we were going to die, and left. And we managed to escape this quicksand, and I found a wand. And the circles that we originally thought were just scribbled layers of circle on this map were actually sort of wave-like circles around a central point. Not sure what that has to do with the story, but we will find out, I assume. Also, if you're up to date on regular, or season one Dungeon Boys, um, the end of the Druid Staff has Um, a black rock on the end of it that I won't spoil for you. but the size of a good fist. Black rocks are important in Dungeon Boys. (laughs) That brings us up to date, doesn't it, Josh? I think so. Also, my name's Keith. I'm playing Stump. My name's Bavon, playing Bryce. I am Josh, playing the world. Yeah. I didn't try and make that joke. <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally said that. <laughs> I just figured you said Bavon by accident, and you just, you know, fell to it. Yep. That, is, that is getting into a character that right is there. exactly what just transpired. All right, Josh, All right. let's finish this up, brother. You got this. We're going to do this. All right, so... As you know, night was upon you. Night was coming. It was upon us. You are at a ruined campsite of that orc uh, patrol that was trying to, to like get back to this druid who has been evading them for so long. Yeah. And they are they were determined to they were determined to take this guy off the map. Yep. So he was part of the culling. He ultimately did not become part of the culling because he said no. And he left. Which if so. you just started, the cullings are a thing that the government does in this world. They, you know, capture people against their will and take them out of the population to uh, under propaganda do public work programs but really we know by this point it is just mostly genocide there you go so after that you find yourself in a camp uh, sun is starting to go down you found a cool stick and there's a campfire full of some halfway burnt food can I have the other half yeah okay 
I want it. <laughs> okay. So this is my thought here. We'll say it's like the the leg of something. We'll say it's like a giant frog leg. How's that? That sounds delicious right now. Yeah. Stump goes and sits down on the nearest <clears throat> place to sit down next to the you know sm- smoldering fire with the thing on. He says, "Babe, this is my fault here. We could rest here and wait till morning, but I have to imagine that Druid doesn't think that someone." People as capable looking as us are going to really be taken out by some quicksand. Do you think so? Uh, he kept mentioning he kept mentioning that night was falling, so perhaps he's counting on us being taken out by whatever creatures are here, whatever yeah, well, probably took out the Continental Army or that Winston creature that was, I guess, with him. It Winston, he called Winston. He didn't right. Yes. Is that what he called the creature? I, I guess that's me. Maybe me assuming. Maybe he has a friend on the island. Good. He could also have a creature stomping around. That likes to stomp when he hears the name Wilson. Well, the reason I'm Winston. The, the Winston. reason I'm contem- contemplative Wilson. is I'm concerned. Maybe we ought not to try to find him in the night. He's not expecting us to get the drop on him in the middle of the night. Maybe maybe he won't be paying attention so much in the dark. Perhaps. Bavon can't see very well in the dark, but Bavon can give it a try. Perception. I can see in the dark. Uh, Percept. Percept oh. some things. Oh, I rolled a six. a six. I rolled a 13. 13? So Bavon is describing that he can't see very well in the dark as he kind of hears that same telltale. I hear a smell. The what? bats are back. Oh, dude. The Sturges. Rats. Is there, any, is there any shelter nearby for us? There's some there's some tents that are kind of like halfway toppled and ruined, so you could probably rig one up real quick. I believe these these sturges are going to make the decision for us, eh, babe? One sounds good. Let's set up one of these tents to get away from them. I've been needing some rest. Only only one tent actually seems like it would be serviceable, and it is a small tent. Like this is a Boy Scout tent. Okay. Well, looks like we're packing up into this little one here. It's going to be all right? Yeah, uh, we'll fit. <laughs> I'm going to warn you, I get a little bit sweaty in the night. That's disgusting. I say all that <laughs> as I'm, I'm trying to fiddle with the tent and try to put it up. Okay. Roll a, just roll a straight 20. We'll see how, how good you are. Un- Six. Unapologetic, just mm. informative. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get a bit sweaty. <laughs> yeah. So you, you've got it kind of Ooh. kind of serviceable, but it, it still looks like it was put together with somebody with not as enough fingers. Yeah. So, Bavon, is there, can you see anything you can do to fix this? I'm, I'm struggling here. I think it's good enough to cover us for the night. All right, that'll work. All right, so y'all, <laughs> <laughs> so y'all are lasting, lasting out the night. Yeah, gonna try to. Okay, so all through the night, you actually hear like and those little wings and the the little sturges and stuff outside. They're, they know you're there. They're trying to get in, but they just can't can't figure out tent technology. It just doesn't work. Bavon, I'm laying. I'm laying up in the tent near you. Bavon, yes. Are you awake? No. It sounds like you are. I've got a question. <laughs> Bavon, are you afraid of anything? The desert. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a water genasi, so yeah. yeah. Oh, I guess that makes sense. So you only being f- buried alive. Mm. Being in that quicksand was kind of close to that, That's but Bavon could still breathe. Yeah, sand and being buried alive. There's like two out of three there. It just wasn't so hot. Yeah. Cool beans. So. Also, it was mostly water. So I suppose Bavon could breathe even under it. Hmm. Probably I'm just could. wondering. Just trying to make some small talk. Could breathe half of it. Dirty breathing. <laughs> what are you afraid of, Stump? Uh, I'm afraid that... I'm afraid that people are always going to see me like they see the rest of the orcs in the world. I'm afraid I won't ever be able to make them make me mark without it being tarnished by the other orcs in this world. Maybe if we bring back a truly impressive creature for the feast of one of the great martyrs of our time. <laughs> no, you know you know he was a bad guy. Oh yes. But we remember. He he is definitely quite the martyr. But we are that's true. We'll There's we... an entire celebration. Well, I guess if they're celebrating his death he wasn't it wasn't all that love. <laughs> That's true. Maybe. Maybe he's celebrating his life after his death. I don't know. But we are doing a good thing. Maybe this will be able to turn the tides in my favor. Maybe. We don't know if we're doing a good thing or not. 
Good night, babe. On. <laughs> <laughs> you should right. consider that deeply while you try and sleep. <laughs> Will do. So the morning comes. It's again dun, dun, dun. kind of a nice morning. There's far dun, less dun, dun, sturges dun. than there was last night. Mm. Um, also, I'm all healed up and I have my spell slots back. Oh, yeah. That's right. All right. So you're, you're heading out. You unzipify the old tent. Mm. It was a really tall tent. That's a really tall <laughs> tent. Yeah. It was a vertical tent. Yeah. That's right. All right, so you're... A two-story tent. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, so uh, you open up the door, or the flap, whatever, and you step back out into the camp. The fire's obviously extinguished I now. slam the flap shut. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just another morning. It's a little bit overcast. It's not quite as pleasant as it was before. It doesn't look like it's raining yet, but it looks like rain might be on the horizon. You are on the top part of this little ring that you're in, and you can kind of gaze out farther into the swamp. And you can see that it looks like there's other rings shorter and closer together. The next one only looks like about a quarter mile away. The last one was a half mile away. Mm -hmm. And they all seem to be like a little bit taller. So it is up to you, gents. What are you doing now? So it's kind of like a bowl kind of thing. Mm. Each one is progressively shorter. Yep. Wait, like a stack of bowls, stack of mixing bowls. Okay, so it's going up. Yeah, like so each, each on? one is like a little bit taller than the last one. Okay, wait, so, towards the middle. Towards the middle, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought we had reached the middle, and it was like getting taller as it went out. A couple more rings. Okay. A couple more, but they're getting closer together. All right, so it's more like an ant hill. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Ant hill with like lots of rings of water and swampiness. Okay. Nice. All right, it's up to you, fine gents. What's happening? Well, I have to imagine, you know, if I know anything about wizardly people, they like to be at the middle of something tall, towers, mountains, you know, that kind of thing. Mm, yes. I'm not trying to make any sort of rude generalizations about him, but I have to imagine he'd probably stay at the center of this weird little geography. What do you think? More often than not, I would say that Druids, wizards, they're, they're all sort of conceited that way. If you would like it. So, what about sorcerers? No, we're pretty cool. That's what I figure. <laughs> I figure you might say that. Very down to earth. Well, I'll grab this boat, all right? We'll head down to the bank and try to move towards the center. Sounds good. Yep. All right. So you hoist the boat up and you walk down towards the bank, toss it in old El Water down there, mm-hmm. and you all board the canoe. La Agua. Yes. Okay. All right, so you're heading out towards the second ring. Mm-hmm. All right, definitely much denser vegetation. It's harder going. It takes almost as long to cross this distance as it did to cross twice as long of a distance mm-hmm. in the last one. So nothing truly eventful happens as you make it to the next ring. You have now reached the bank of the next one. And same thing, it's a little steeper grade going up the bank, and this land looks like it's a little bit taller than the last one. Y'all getting out the boot? Yeah, I'm getting out and I'm looking for signs of you know druid movement, uh, any sort of disturbances here on this bank as well. But I rolled a five. I rolled cool. a six. A six. It's not too hard to spot. There's like a giant path that came moving through here. Okay, it's like it looks like the path of a giant creature. Path of a giant creature, I'd say. Okay. With a five or a six, I can't tell you too much. Sure. Hey, Stone. Do yes. you see that giant creature path up there? Oh, I absolutely do. So Doesn't like take much to see that. Of it. I'm not much of an animal hunter, but I know a game trail when I see it. That seems like those might be mutually exclusive, for sure. Hmm. What? <laughs> <laughs> Bavon gave Stump quite a look. <laughs> I'm just trying to use big words like you like to use, Bavon. Shall we? Yes. All right, hoist it again. Yes. All right, heading Hip. to the top of the hill. Make it to the top of the hill? Mm-hmm. Make it to the top of the hill. Roll a perception. Ah. Three. That's seven. Oh, so <laughs> that's not super awesome. I'll give you a little little taste. We've been okay. walking up this hill backwards, haven't we? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll give you a little flavor on this one. So this one, definitely more dense trees, bigger trees, older trees. And this one is much taller. You can see farther. And on the inside... Of this one, it's dark water with no vegetation. Oh. And there's there's another ring in the center of it that is perfectly flat on top. 
That's the center. That is the center. And in the, in the dead center of this entire thing, the whole thing is probably about 800 feet wide or so. And the dead center of this entire thing is another pool, and that one looks to be like a different color of water. Ooh. No vegetation. No vegetation. Well, Bavon, let me tell you one thing with my experience. I'm not certain about yours, but I've fought several mages in my career. None too crazy, none too large. But anyone who sets up quite like this, looking for a fight, my brother. Looking for a fight. I agree. I need to try something. Sure. I'm going to test shape water on this dark water and see if I can actually manipulate it. Go for it. I'd do that. Then you do that. Sweet. It is the water. Okay. It's just black. It is black. So You know that black river water is black as yes. <laughs> <laughs> So think about it like this, it's just really dark water, kinda of like what you'd see in the Edisto. Kind of like the Edisto. It's very like you know from or lots of decayed vegetation. Any stuff river like that. that's referred to as a black river, I guess. Right, right. right. It's like lots of lots of tannic acid in there from like dead and, de- and decaying leaves. Yes. Which fun fact, if you don't know this, if you're not a South Carolinian, you probably don't. Uh, but you should be. The Edisto River in South Carolina is the longest black river in the world. Hmm. I didn't know that. Yep. Huh. It's no you Nile. The Nile is not a black river. Yeah, yeah. but. Hmm. That's cool. actually pretty cool. Well, it goes through a lot of a lot of forests and stuff. Mm-hmm. So yeah. All right, moving on. What you guys got for me? Shall we launch the boat? Here's my concern. Mm-hmm. Again, concerning uh, like so concerning my concern. You follow <laughs> you when you follow people for a living and you murder them. Uh, well, kill them. Most of them are deserving. Assassinate a few. Assassinate absolutely. My concern is that he's not down there. Noise the creature. But where else would he be? You hear, hear a sound that? off in the distance. Did you hear that? Oh. What? What's it noise? I turned towards the sound. Uh, should we roll perception? What do you want? Yeah. Okay. Perception or a nature, whichever one you want to roll. That's a 18 perception or a 10 nature. Yeah, 11 <laughs> perception or a 9 nature. Okay. So, I mean, y'all about halfway there. I'll give it to you on that one with a... You had a 10, you had 11, so we're good. Uh, it sounds like a frog, just a big one. I remember y'all heard those frogs the last time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was the sound I made when I got stepped on, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a... It sounds, sounds like, like a big-ass frog. <laughs> it certainly does. Mm. Then I suppose we ought to go find him. That's why we're here. Right? Perception. Do you want to go... Huh? Uh, can we keep my 18 or older? 13. 13? And never mind, I'm, I'm okay with a 17. Okay. Yeah, y'all, y'all good. Y'all good. It doesn't take much because there's no there's no really covering, concealing vegetation in this uh, like 800 foot size ring. Uh, but you can actually see a couple of large frogs actually like coming up onto that inner ring. Like man sized frogs. Do you think those are big enough to bring back? With big old frog legs. That was the last thing they had, was a giant frog. I thought we was going to have a giant frog never actually got to. Hmm. I'm not certain. Walter Rudolph in the sunset. Yeah. But let's go for Winston. He seems more Where extravagant. Is, that's true, absolutely. Where do you believe Winston is? I have an idea on how to draw him out. If you wish to fight here. I wish to follow your lead, Big Bavon. Okay, so do you remember our battle against the crocodile in the swamp? I made the sound of a beautiful lady gator <laughs> to attract its attention. <laughs> Real quick pause. Masterful storytelling, Bryce. <laughs> Unpause. <laughs> I do remember that fight. It seemed to, work rather, seemed to work rather well. Well, I think I described it as like, Three bags of potatoes in a washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> we heard the voice of the man who is partnered with this creature. Yes, we did. We heard him call his name. We did. And the creature came stomping. Yes, indeed. Even if we didn't see it, we at least heard and knew where it was. 
I can replicate his voice and call the creature again. You can. Well, I believe that's probably a good idea. I can give it a shot at least. I will sharpen me hammer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Babe, on my jokes are funny too. They are. I didn't know if you were being serious. I was just going to let you have that one. <laughs> like I said, just because I'm an old doesn't mean I'm All right, so stupid. In actuality, I took a feat instead of uh, ASI. So I took the actor feat. You gain advantage on deception and performance checks to impersonate someone else. You can imitate the sounds or speech of another creature, and you gain plus one to charisma. Do it. Rice. A master. Not only an RP story master. Let's it's like watching a movie, Bryce. Let's the have a dice roll. Now. It's a movie in the head. That is a one. That's I'm gonna a use, crit fail. I'm going to use my point of inspiration. Oh, wait. But I you get, have advantage. Yeah, I have advantage. There that we is go. a 13. Does, does that mean I get a plus one to acting? And you gain a plus one to charisma? Or is that just in general? That would be in general. Okay. So, so their performance skill would have gone up. Mm-hmm. Okay, so but, I rolled a 13. And... Uh, that's with a plus three, so that's 16. 16? Yeah. Okay, so what are you doing? Winston! Okay. When However you, he did it. When yeah. you, yeah, Winston! Yeah, whenever you... Winston! Whenever you call that out, like, there's three or four of these giant frogs that are actually out there in that middle thing, and they all kind of, like, turn, and they, like, turn their body towards where you are, and they all off. jump into the water and head this way. A little more than we bargained for, eh? Perhaps. We shall see. <laughs> ready the I'm ready the hammer. <laughs> All right, the hammer is ready. Do we hear any big stompy stomps? No big stompy stomps. Well, that's dumb. <laughs> All right. Um. Boom. Oh, we slept, so I'm going to recast mage armor. Yeah, y'all are fresh. Yeah. Yas. All right, so y'all are just chilling here on this uh, this inner inner but not quite innermost ring. Correct. Sure. Okay. Waiting on him, I guess. All right. Don't want to get in the boat at this point. Don't want to get in the boat. Chilling on the land. Okay. Oh, fast forward. We'll just say that you y'all are kind of preparing your your equipment. You're preparing your spells. You're doing all your stuff as you see like these little little wakes of water as these uh, giant frogs are headed your way. Ooh, baby. Mm-hmm. There you go. So, at the water's edge, we need a soundboard. We do. We really do. We need to make one. I just want. If any of you have button, uh, that's what I use for everything. If yeah. any of you have uh, time to edit these, you can throw it in and post. That's right. <laughs> Lay it on, man, big boy. All right. Let's see. We got four sets of eyes that pop oh, up baby. at the water's edge. I see you. They are at the water's edge. Baby, Shall we roll you? initiative? You shall. Let's get a good roll. Oh. Not for me. That's a nine. A six. Sometimes I feel like this fan is moving air. Sometimes I feel like it's not. Who got a nine? Who got a six? I got a nine. He got, got a six. Nine. Four giant frogs plus a boss? I'm worried. I am too. We are not that unsquishy. Right. <laughs> it is Bavon's turn because they all roll kind of on the low side. Nice. I'm actually rolling as a group just so. Solid. Yeah. I will fire bolt. Wait, hang on. Are they attacking? They're about 50 feet away. They're they're like at the water's edge. You can see their eyes sticking up. Do out they the water. seem aggressive? They don't seem aggressive. They seem like they're watching you. Can I imitate frog speech and ask them to leave us alone? <laughs> Frogs don't have a language, so um, I'm going to say that one's probably out. Leave us a no. <laughs> it just sounds like... Rah, rah, rah. <laughs> Can I make a docile, un, uh, like unintimidating frog sound then? Uh, I suppose so. And see if they're like, oh, we're not going to deal with these wimps. Unless that makes them think that we're weak and easy to attack. <laughs> we'll go for something. That is a 17 plus 3, that's 20. That's a 20? Not natural. Not natural. Okay, so you make a, na- a noise. <laughs> <laughs> Non-threatening. One of them is a little intrigued. 
Uh, but one well, of them's eyebrows is going <laughs> <laughs> up and down would be the response. Yeah. With a twenty, I'm I'm a, a twenty not natural, right? Twenty not natural. Okay, twenty not, not natural. natural twenty. All right, so with that, all four of them kind of like do the little slow blink, like I don't, I don't know. And they they actually like their eyes kind of go down. And they like submerge in the water again. <laughs> so. Well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Behind you, you hear. Stump. Yes, Bavon. Did you eat anything earlier today? I did not. Is your stomach growling? It is not. That's unfortunate. It certainly is, <laughs> Bavon. It certainly is. I turn around. <laughs> same. <laughs> Y'all turn around, same time. And you see this truly massive giant toad. Like a, a giant if a giant toad could be giant, this is that one. Oh baby. Walter, is that you? It's actually like <laughs> If, how it does that thing where it like puffs out its little pouch or whatever it's just as, and it's like five feet away from y'all just towering over both of you have you seen my impression of a frog <laughs> <laughs> alright it does that one more time and it opens up its mouth and just like the tyrannosaurus roar from <laughs> Jurassic Park <laughs> I feel like this is the one we got to bring back babe on there you go like you can feel some wind coming off this thing so. That does look like a Winston. All right, so you want to keep the same initiative or re-roll? Um, I want to. I'm at the top of the order, right? Yeah. I want to keep the same initiative. Do I mean, it. it. Doesn't matter. We can, I'm happy to keep it. Okay, y'all do it. Bevon's first. Okay. Uh, you said he's five feet away. Yeah. Cool. Right. And probably like ten feet over you. I mean, so I'm gonna up. run up. And with his mouth open, I'm going to take that wand and I'm going to crush the end of the thing <laughs> like, into his mouth. Oh, the little water bead that you soaked up? Fill his mouth with 30 cubic feet of water. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> All right. So you do that and you don't really have to roll for that one. It just happens when you smash it. All right. Roll a, roll a strength, though. Let's see if you got enough force behind it. Ooh. Anything greater than a five, I'll give it to you. That's a 10. Yeah, you're good. You're good. You ain't got to add nothing to five. it. <laughs> <laughs> Minus five. My, oof, that's bad strength. So, yeah. yeah, you manage it. You crack this thing open, and just his entire mouth just, <laughs> just fills up with water. And there's actually so much of it, it like expands his neck a little bit, and actually a lot of it goes gushing back out towards the Ugh. both of you who are standing at the top of this bank and washes you downhill a little bit. So you actually get washed downhill towards the bank. Towards the one that we just came out of and came up the hill to? Nope, towards the one where the four frogs were kind of hanging out. Oh, okay. Yep. As we travel down, um, is the boat coming with us? Well, oh, the boat was behind you at the camp. Oh. Wait, why? Because y'all are at the top of the hill speculating. I heaped, I hooked it. You Check did? the tapes. I made the hook sound. Hook to put it on my shoulder, I thought. Fine, the boat came with you. <laughs> we'll also, do it! Also, wasn't the camp down like another ring? No, it was at the top of the hill. Oh. Okay. All right, so we'll we'll say that the that the boat got washed down with you, sure, and it is it is currently like just kind of like toppled over on yeah. on its on its top. Gotcha. I was under, just under the impression that we had sat it down on that bank or wherever oh, we were at. It's it's probably true. I've got like five other different things going on. In my of head course, right now. absolutely. I completely understand. You know how the DM thing is. Completely understand. All right, so there's a boat down there. Well, a boat ish plank. Yeah. That you may ride upon. Okay. At your leisure. So we, we've washed into the water at this point. You are at the water's edge. Okay, so we're not in the water yet. No. Right. Bavon, we are at quite a disadvantage down here, I have to say. So it would seem. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, top of the hill, you hear that. And it's like, it's trying to get all this water out of its mm. mouth and everything. And it, it starts like stumbling down the hill coming towards where you are at. Uh, that's that's me. That's my turn. Uh, I can't do anything else. There you go. Stop! Bavon, what are the odds you can light this boat on fire? Mm, pretty high. All right. <laughs> I'm going to lift the boat <laughs> and try to ram it <laughs> into the mouth of the frog. <laughs> or right. at least Y'all are about like 50 feet apart now because you washed downhill. Prepare. Aggressive. 
<laughs> one word for you boys. Or several words. Orc trait aggressive. Okay. I will start with my orc trait aggressive bonus action where I can use my full movement okay. to move towards my enemy. All right, so 30 feet there. Yep. Um, I, would, I guess metagaming ask my request is hopefully asking Bryce to prepare to light this you know thing on fire. Okay. And I just want to use my other 20 feet of movement to get up to the frog. I can't do that till it reaches my turn. So I know. All right. And I'd like to jam the boat into the mouth of the frog as it gurgles. Okay. Just okay. again to try to get it lodged. So you're jamming now or you're preparing that movement? Um, I'm jamming now. I want to jam jamming now. now. Okay. So action. So bonus action was move 30 feet. Mm-hmm. Regular movement 20 feet. Okay. Action, jam boat in mouth of frog. <laughs> got it. Okay. Yeah, his mouth is still kind of like open a little bit. It's Perfect. still got a bunch of water in there. Um, strength it. Let's see what you got. Not much. Uh, 13. 13? Uh, you managed to get it in there, but it's not really wedged in there. It's Good. like It's like hanging out like I got old. Because I have an action surge. Yeah. <laughs> that we're going to use to hammer that bad boy. <laughs> Do it. I like fighters. Fighters are cool, man. I, like so I guess I'm going to a roll to hit this. This thing. Do it. All right, so you shoved it in. of a boat? <laughs> this is basically like one of those uh, stand-up paddle boards you've just shoved yeah. into this thing. Oh, man. I uh, only rolled a... You have inspiration. A 14. Um, do I, can I use inspiration before, uh, after I know whether the 14 works? I feel like a 14 is going to hit a boat. Yeah, we'll see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with the 14. To okay. hit the boat. All right. So you 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 end up hitting the the back side of this thing. I mean, it's it's a decent size. I mean, yeah. it's it's not like it's a small target. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So you hit it. Nice. You hit it. Do me some damage. Okay. I'm I'm dual wielding or not dual wielding. I'm double handing this. So we're gonna okay. do the detail. Rolled a five damage on the back of that boat. Five of those damage. Got it. All right. So you rolled five damage on the boat. Yes. <laughs> Now translate that into pounds, you know, like how how many pounds of force and how much that presses into the frog's mouth, Josh, right. on so the we'll, spot. We'll do it like this. It actually, like the the boat is, it is old. You remember Brom saying this is like yeah. his first boat. He was born with this boat, came out at the same time. I've it forgotten. was one of those weird swamp <laughs> things. These things do happen though. Yeah, he paddled out of the womb. That's right. <laughs> so you you like hit this thing on the back end, but it's got some resistance from old uh, Winston who's got it in his mouth. Mm. So instead of actually like driving it in a whole lot more, it actually like splits and like splinters off at the Ooh. end of it. Hey, we'll take that. <laughs> and you actually instead of doing five damage to uh, Winston, you've got a bunch of splinters that go in. And it actually does three piercing damage to the back of uh, Winston's mouth. Yeah. So, Let's do it. Got to like work. It. Cool. So the boat, she is no more. Okay. All she right. is no, no more. No longer exists. That's right. Swallowed. <laughs> Destroyed. Um, well, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Both, actually. Swalla la la. All right. It is now. <laughs> it is now Winston's la, move. La, 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 la. Winston is just going to take an action to kind of like gag a little bit and get this stuff out of his mouth. And he just kind of like stumbles around a little bit as he's trying to get his bearings. He's like tries to get this out of his mouth so he can actually do something. So, bave on. I feel bad because he didn't actually attack us. So. I'm going to say that one actually stunned us on, stunned him on this round. Cool. <gasps> so. Um. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I'm going to point the wand Mm -hmm. at the water. Okay. And I'm going to get another big old chunk of water. Okay. All right. So right there at the bank of the water? Oh, yeah. You wanted me to set that boat on fire. I need to do that. Well, the boat doesn't exist anymore. The boat's been splintered. Yeah. He's got like a bunch of little splinters like hanging out of his mouth. Okay. Then I'm going to soak up some water. Okay. Is that my action? Uh, we'll, We'll say that's action. Okay. That's it then. Okay, so you're soaking up some water. Still got the mage armor active. I'm going to actually do something else. Okay. I am going to use Misty Step. And that is going to be a second level spell. Uh, I teleport up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space that I can see. I'm, I can't see that. I want to do... Uh, I'm going to go as behind the frog as I can get. Okay. Um, we'll say right you over. get like right behind him. 
Okay. Like right, like you could reach out and touch him. I uh, little froggy butt. I do that. You reach out and touch his froggy butt? No. That's just I, weird. Put my finger in his froggy butt. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just teleport the back there. Okay. Anime style appears behind him. I'm sorry, Walter. <laughs> I Winston. must do all out. <laughs> Win- Winston. Winston. Walter was Walter, Walter was, was you. Frog. Yeah. Walter Froggins. Walter Froggins. All right, so we got that happening. It is now back to stumpage. Stump us. Oh yeah. Um, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna hit him with stuff. Mm. We're bringing you back to lonesome boy. We're bringing you back to lonesome boy. <laughs> Two hammer smacks, double handed. Do it. Ping, ping, ping. Uh, that's gonna be a ten. In a natural twenty, so we made up for it. Lovely. Nice. All right. Um, ten is not gonna do it. We'll get that natural twenty dating. Nat twenty double damage, right? Yep. So are you are you like trying to like drive one of those boat spikes in? Or are you hey, trying if I to see like... a spike, I'm going for whatever's the most irritated. If I'm yeah, if I see a spike, I want to drive that. He's spike. still got like like one or two pieces and splinters he's struggling with. So. Okay. Well, glad I did that. One seven eight. So thir- th- eleven damage. Eleven damage. Okay. All right. And that's that's with. Um, Double. Double? Yeah. Okay. Do I have any more cool bonus action stuff? I don't know. Mm, I don't think so. Okay. All right. It is now Winston's turn. He is actually really hurting on this one. He is going to take a mighty leap and just jump over your head. Okay. So. How far away is he going? He's going right, like, Bavon was, like, right behind him, like, touching distance. He is now, like, just right over your head. A couple tons of soggy frogness just goes sailing over your head and lands just right behind okay, you. Okay, so, so he, he's not leaving my my five feet of space. Right. Okay. Right. He is I'll still, he's hanging in there. <laughs> he's hanging in there, so. But he left mine. That's yeah, true. That's right. That's right. So he's he's basically just putting himself on the side of the water. He's a frog, gotcha. giant, giant frog. He feels much more secure with the water. So you've got a melee, him right? You can't do a spell, I don't think. Oh yeah, I throw the stick at him. <laughs> <laughs> do you? No. All right, what do you do? I do nothing. I don't have any melee. I have a dagger, but it would be a. I, I have to use it if it's in my hand. I can't draw it and then use it. Oh, you can't equip it and then. Yep. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Well, you got you do have the stick in your the uh, wand in your hand. I could make a melee attack towards the ground and break it, I guess. But that would wash Keith into the water as well. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you didn't soak up anything new with it. Yeah, I did. Remember, I turned towards the water and I soaked it all up. You said, actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use Misty Step. No. I said, if that's my bonus, if that's my action, then that's all I can do. But I have a bonus action. I can use Misty Step. So you did bonus action as Misty Step. Yeah. Okay. Bonus step. Rewind. When you sucked up all that water, you actually, like... Just for a brief second, while all this water that's like 20 feet, uh, 20 foot cone behind you just mm-hmm. sucks into the wand, you actually see like two of those frogs that were hiding underneath the water just instantly mummified. Just Ooh, nice. Yeah. There you go. Got some anhydrous frogs. That's right. So then the water just come, comes and just completely fills in behind them. And those two just kind of like float to the top as they start to like soak up more of the water yeah. around them. Does that mean they're Sponge. dead? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like all yeah. when all water leaves your body, right. you in some trouble. Yeah. Oh, Bavon, maybe <coughs> don't do that to the uh to the big one. I don't know if they're gonna like that if we bring you yeah, bring him back petrified. I'm trying not to. Alright, so it is mm, do, 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 it is Froggy's turn. He is gonna turn around to face you. Alright, so yeah, he's leaped over, turning around. Right. Gotcha. So like, he is he is right up in your groove and he is like turning around to face you he has a mouth that's a good like eight feet wide oh baby yeah it's a big mouth he's gonna open that mouth up and try to biteify you oh no yep that's a 20 not natural to hit that is my ac is actually just uh, 19 and a half so 19 and a (laughs) half so he just barely squeaks by on that (laughs) one okay uh when actually actually when he opens up his mouth you can see like Tiny little rows of teeth. They look like little shark's teeth. Oh, bother. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Let's do some of them demios. 
Um, actually, not bad. About three damage. Dang. All yeah. right. We'll That's take it. That is the dice because it's a D10 plus two. Nice. Yes, sir. That bite wasn't so bad. Vavon might actually be all right. <laughs> plus, <laughs> yeah. Five points of poison. Oh no! I yep. changed my mind. Every six seconds. Plus, you are grappled. Because oh, your no. upper half is inside of a giant, giant frog. Excuse me. This bite actually doesn't hurt as bad as you thought. Oh, <laughs> like from oh, within oh, the oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> From within the frog. Yep. Until the grapple ends, the target is restrained. And it can't bite anything else, though. Okay. So we got that. All right. We got that happening. Bavon, do something. You're about 10, 12 feet away from him. It is time. So there is a giant, huge giant frog right in front of you with the legs of stump. Just the stump of a stump. Stumpy stump stump. I'm going to go, so it, its mouth is shut, right? It right. can't bite me. Right. Okay, I'm going to go right up to it. Okay. And I'll put the wand in its nose. Okay. And oh, jam it in and try and break that crystal again. All right. In so. its nasal passage. <laughs> Roll, roll a strength, because his head is down, because he just bit uh, a yeah. stump. So. Bavon! Bavon, is that you? That's me. <laughs> I'm, that's me. <laughs> what am I rolling? You roll just a regular strength. If you got greater than a five, it shatters. That's a five. That's a five. You got it. <laughs> you got it. So, yeah. That thing shatters, and another, what is it, like 30, 30 cubic feet of water is what we said. I think that's what it is. Just goes washing down this poor frog's <laughs> nostrils. <laughs> Heads down towards his lungs, his mouth, everything. This frog is just filled with water, and Stump actually goes <laughs> shooting, <laughs> shooting out of the mouth of this thing. <laughs> well, you were standing like right next to him to get the, the wand right. up to nose. Um, it does because he was like holding on to you with his tooth mouth. You actually take an extra three damage as you scrape out of All that right. thing. But you land a good ten feet away. Gotcha. Thank you, buddy. Vaughn. Very soggy. No problem. And where am I at? Where am I at? Frogins takes. I'm gonna give him seven damage on that one. Okay. I keep, call, I keep thinking about Walter Frogins. Yeah. Bring it on, Walter. <laughs> oh, that's a good frog thing. Bring it. Bring it. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> All right, so... I, I, honestly, he's he is getting messed up at this point. Um, All right, so it is now... It is Stump's go. Okay. Stumpus. I'm, I'm 10 feet away. Yeah. Um, I just want to run up, jump, and try to plant one. Plant a big hammer throw between his eye, or hammer slam between his eyes, and then whether that one hits or not, I'm going to hit him again with the second attack. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. That's going to be a, a miss on that first one. Absolutely. How bad of a miss? I roll the two, push it up to an eight. That's a bad miss. And this one is actually just going to be a 14. Once more to 14 hit hits. Frog. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful, wonderful. That's exceptional. Wonderful. They don't have a super big AC. Yeah, they're big and, you know. They're big and squishy. No armor. Yeah. Hard to, hard to move and they got no arms. Uh, in a sad thing to be a frog. An exceptional six damage with six. that second hit. Six of those whole damage. All right. So Winston is is not really feeling this stuff going on. He's not he, he's not doing too great. Like he was very confident going into this. If a frog could look confident, he looked like that. That's a confident looking frog. Yeah, he lost that confident look. So he is now like he. He kind of pulls back a little bit and turns back towards the water and takes a mighty jump down to the water's edge. Mm. So he is now just like butt in the water, turned around looking at y'all like, all right, bring it. Okay. Bring it. Guys, buddies. This is this, this my world, you know, step down, okay. bring it. So with that, he did leave your area. He did yeah. leave your area because y'all were both there together. As he turns around, I'm crank cramming the hammer down. Okay. Zahushka. Of course, we roll a 19 on that one. Which is an improved critical. Da da da! This chair made Dang, my two eight, so that's 16 plus 3, 19? No. Yeah, 19 damage. Boy. 19 damage? Oh! <laughs> 
That is a mighty hit. Only nineteen. Two two d tens plus plus your three strength. And does that you don't you don't add proficiency no. to that, do you? Mm-mm. That's just attacky rolls. Okay. Yeah. All right, so that has happened. Um, it is Bavon's move. It is How's he looking after that smack? He is looking like okay in classic frog <laughs> language that we all know. What? <laughs> okay. Like he did not expect this sure. from two of these like it's more like DMX language. <laughs> there you go. What? Give him the big slam. He did not expect these two tiny little creatures to come in and hurt him so bad. So this is my turn. It is your move. It is your move. Okay. I am going to. Yeah, I don't want to kill this frog. It ain't did nothing to us. But we have our whole goal is to bring back a creature. I know, but I feel like the druid was an important part of this. If we just kill it and tag it and disappear. Well, but the whole thing is we, we showed up. We showed up on the hill. The frog just got angry at us. We were surrounded. He just roared at us. We were didn't cornered. Even us. He showed us his teeth. That's true. Okay. That's classic aggression. He does. All <laughs> right. So I'm going to cast my third level lightning bolt spell. Okay. Um, that is going to be 8d6 lightning damage. All right. <laughs> Do it. Um, must make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. They have to beat a fourteen. Does not. Okay. That is a nine. So that is eight d six. Got my calculator ready. Let's do this. Who, baby? Two. Two. Oof. Two. <laughs> Three. <laughs> what? Four. Oh yeah. Five. Mm-hmm. Nice. Two. <laughs> so twenty. That's everybody. Yeah, I think that was eight of them. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Okay, that did a whole twenty-two of them damage. No, twenty of those damage. Nice. He is feeling it, boys. He is feeling it. All right. So that was your lightning attack. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, when you do this lightning attack that unleashes upon good old Winston, it is now Stump's turn. All right. When uh, he gets hit with that, though, you notice that he's he's dazed like that, and when you see him open his eyes, his eyes are completely black. Oh, but then good. Stump runs down the hill toward this creature. Mm-hmm. Leaps into the air for another slam between the eyes. 300 style? Yeah, as, as much 300 style as you can get. We're going to build this wall, buddy. That's going to be a 21. Play. Oh, yeah, that's going to hit. And then for the second hit that we're going to hit when we land, mm-hmm. that's going to be an 18. That's going to hit. Nice. I'm putting a hurting on old Winston. So first hit's going to do 12 damage. Second hit's going to do 6 damage. So 18 damage total. Winston still hadn't hit us. Or hadn't hit me. He bit me. He he had like the whole front end of him. He put a whole boat in his mouth. <laughs> and then <laughs> jammed it. <laughs> All right. Wow. Man, Win- Winston is feeling it, buddy. Oh, he is. Uh, He's been feeling it for a while. Just make take some hammer blow. I'm just saying, like, he he looks like he might be almost down for the count. Nice. Like, he is, he is staggering. He is stumbling. But. You're standing right in front of him, and those eyes just open completely 100% wide, and they are 100% like black obsidian orbs. That does not look like normal frogs there, Bavon. I I don't believe so. I'm worried. I am too. Roll of perception. Both of you. That's a one. Seven. A seven and a one? My one kind of looked like a seven. That don't that don't do it. So you're you're focused on like what you're lining up for your next attack because you know it's coming and it's it's all down to you, babe. On you can do this. So you're focused on it. With a seven and plus you're right in front of the the frogans. You notice that that ring of water that's like 800 feet wide or mm-hmm. so, kind of like shimmers. It's almost like a TV changing channel. Just oh boy, and it actually turns like a beautiful like algae green color. Also not normal, Bavon. No. Bavon is familiar with water. It doesn't do that normally. All right. It is now... Oh, that was his action. Okay. 
It's now Bavon's turn. It is now Bavon's turn. Bavon, mm. do it. Oh, it was just my turn. Yep. All right. You, it was just your turn, and then he... Oh, okay, yeah. Look, we got two players here. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I'm just not used to it being my yeah. turn so often. I know, right? Um, it's nice, though. It's, it's nice. Fun. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Are you between me and the frog? Yes. You're always between me and the frog. Just do it, brother. It's, it's a cone. It's all right. I'm a, I use a hammer. I know what's coming. Let's see... I'm gonna do firebolt. Just a firebolt. It's a cantrip. I'm gonna shoot it at his face. Okay. Um, what you got for me? Do, 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 do. No wait. I don't. Do I roll? Yeah, I roll. That's a seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Nice. And that is two d ten. Okay. Do damage. it. So that's. Four and six, so ten. Ten of those damage. All right. Good grief. All right. Walter ain't doing so hot. Or excuse me, Winston ain't doing so hot, guys. All right. We are moving on to Stump. You are right in front of the man. Another couple hammer slams. I got. I don't have much to do. I'm just smacking on this boy with my hammer. Okay, hammer time. You sharpened the hammer prior, so that helps. Yeah. yeah. 22. Yeah. And a 23. Yeah. Wonderful. Damage him. Basically, he's just been like a oh. huge frog-shaped punching bag at this point. Yeah. All right, so 11 for damage for the first one, and 6 for the second one, so 17 this time. I have a thing where if I roll a 1 or a 2 on my damage dice, I can re-roll them um, and take the better one. Yep. All right, so, Wow. All right, uh, Winston is bloodied. You, he's got like some blood coming out the corner of his yeah. mouth, his nose, his eyes. Those black obsidian eyes though are open like a hundred percent wide, and like he doesn't react to these hits. Oh boy, he doesn't react. He just takes them. He just takes them. But you are right in front of him. He's gonna roll to do the mighty bite. Bite. Let me have Rah. it. All right. So, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, it's a 23 to hit. All right, baby. Let's do it. I'm dead. All right. I'm gone. He opens wide and just engulfs the entire top half of your body. Me waist. There you go. And you take... Five piercing damage. You also take seven more poison damage. All right. Yep. You can't hear me, but I'm grimacing on the inside of this... This frog. That'll work. <laughs> All right. Couldn't hear you grimace from the outside. <laughs> <laughs> With that, hang on. You are grappled. You are restrained. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. good. Sounds you're like good. quite the menu. That's what he's got. That's what he's got for now. All right. I'll at the, take all of it. <laughs> at the same time, the two remaining giant frogs come up out of the water, like person-sized oh, frogs. So, they are now joining the fray. And you are grappled and restrained. You are no threat to these guys. They see Bavon, though, and they leap to your your direction. Come so to me, my children. They have used their movement speed and made it to you, and then both of them are going to try to make the bite-o. All right. Okay. That's a 16 to hit? Yeah. Okay. I'm just rolling for both of them, so. Uh, and a nat 20. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, then. They can bite them both. So, one of them does eight damage. And, oh, okay. The nat 20 only rolled a one, so five damage. What? Double the dice, and then it's plus three for damage. Uh. Yes, sir. And then you are also grappled. Yay. I'm assuming in the mouth of the second one. That's right. Like I'm, I'm thinking about it this way. Like they both kind of leapt to you. Both of them have like a portion of your body. Mm, so. Gotcha. Like two dogs on a bone. All right. It is now Babon's turn, though. Excellent. You got like a frog on each arm. There's a wand in one of them frogs. There you go. <laughs> Do you like? 
activate it, touch it to the frog. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you just like flick your wrist, and it touches the the one of the frogs. I guess your right or your left. Which one? Uh, whichever one you think the one was in. Okay. Let's we'll, we'll say it was in your right hand. You're a right-handed guy. I'm about to anhydrous this frog. Yeah. That frog, like, if you could see it, this is what happened. One frog is looking perfectly content, and the other one just completely raisins on the spot. <laughs> just <laughs> like the ones you see on the patio. That's in the right. Summertime. That's right. Like if it's been sitting in a in the bottom of a patio for like a year and a half, mm. that. Nice. So, and it is just completely brittle and everything. Just the the movement of your wrist like that, it just kind of like crackles. Just <laughs> uh, it's just frog dust everywhere. All right, so that was an action. You got a bonus action. Uh, I have Misty Step. Okay. I'm gonna Misty Step to the top of this frog. Okay. Can, can you Misty Step if you're grappled? It doesn't say I can't. Ooh. I don't think it says I can. Seemed like you'd be able to, but I'm not sure. Briefly surrounded by a silvery mist, you teleport 30 feet to an unoccupied space you can see. Huh. I'm gonna say, yeah, you can use that to get out of a grapple. Let us know in the comments. That's right. You cannot. All right, so you ungrapulate yourself. Where are you going towards? To that froggy's head. To the same frog? Yep. The okay. one whose Oop. mouth I'm in. So I'm you're just like up on top of him? Just. Yep. Okay, you do that. You are standing on top of a very confused looking frog. Giant frog. It's like twice your size. With a mouthful of silvery mist. That's right. <sighs> like he's vaping. That's right. I was just thinking that. All right, so you're on, on top of a frog. Yep, that's, that's it. That's it. Okay. Like Confused frog. It is now stump action. How much room would you say I have on the inside of this frog? Not much. Just a mouth. Enough. Mouth is made for eating. Would I have enough room to pull my bow off my back? <laughs> mm, probably not. Because like, your your back is like in its mouth. Yeah. All right. Um, it's jowls. I'm going to try to get out then. Do it. I'm assuming I strength throw on that. Sure. First. It's got the expandable neck. He might have enough space. <laughs> and it just kind of pushes it. Would that be a strength saving throw or it's just a strength check? Uh, let me check, let me check, check. DC 13, can you do it? Strength check. Strength check. I can, because that's a natural 20. Hey, all right, so you are you like He-Man in this yeah. thing? And just like, yeah. All right, so this, this frog's mouth is opened wide as you're like stretching and holding it open. What you got? Speaking are you going in or going out? Um, I don't think it's a good idea to go in. <laughs> Its skin is too tough from the outside. Yeah. It's such a stump thing to yeah, do, it is. Keith. Um, no, that I I don't have any weapons that would be good for that, especially not because his mouth is small on the inside. I'm gonna hop backwards and let it snap. Okay, Keep so you closed. you hop back just outside of its mouthy range, but not leaving the area. Yeah, not leaving not the area. To. So you have been ungrappled. I'm gonna say that's your action. Yep. You got a bonus for me. Uh, nothing that will... Actually, I'm going to use a bonus action to heal myself. Okay. I'm going to get second win, 1d10 plus my fire level to get some health back. Second win, the mighty fart. Um, number two, so I get seven HP back. All right. I'm tired. Yeah, also. Me too, yeah. That's getting... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right. So, you got a little bit of the, the old health points back. All right. It is now his turn. All right. He is... He's going back for the bite. He's going to see if he can get you again. Get me again? He's going to see. It's it's 11. Not going to get me that time, baby. Not going to do it. So he just kind of like chomps, yeah. but like he's he's kind of like lost some, some gumption here. Sure. So I learned his number. That's right. So he chomps, but I nothing else is happening. Problem. And another, another frog... The one I'm Regular playing. large frog actually like pops up at his side and like just hops up onto the bank right next to it. So I thought I dehydrated that one. You did dehydrate yeah, that one, but you got a whole flamp. That's true. You got a whole flamp full of frog. All right, so it is your froggy's turn. I... He is actually going to just shake his head a little bit. I imagine you just fall off of that thing. Unless you have a very high dexterity. I have a plus two. All right, see what you got. Dexterity saving throw. Plus a seven. Seven <laughs> plus two? Yeah. No, five plus two. Five plus two. Yeah, yeah, you kind of topple off this guy. Ah. So, yeah, you, you fall off, and you're just, like, flop, plopped over on, like, his right side. You are on the ground. You have landed on your feet, though. Cool. All right. 
that was his action. He was just moving, trying to get you off of him. So it is now the frog that is uh, next to Big Boy down okay. there, Winston. He is actually going to. Oh, he no. is calling, and like you see, like tons of little eyes actually oh, come no. to the top of the water. So, all right, it is no Bayvon's turn. Um, the frog in front of me. Huh? I'm gonna poke it with the the, the pokey wand. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna fill its mouth with water again. Well, its mouth is probably closed. I'm gonna go for the nose again. <laughs> Just jam it right up the nostril. Yep. This is not the way I envisioned this being used, but. Nice. I got a plan. Oh, God. That's a two. On That's the, a two? On the strength rolls. So. All right. So, basically, you just jam this thing up its nose, and it's just like, but nothing really happens. So, that is an action. You got any bonuses for me? I could Misty Step, but that would be my last second level spell, so I don't want to do that. Okay. Stump. Stump us. Hey, Bavon, you're going to want to be close to me. Whenever we kill this frog. Okay. And I'm going to try to kill the frog with my hammer. Do it. Uh, that's going to be a 17. A 17 is going to do it to hit. And a 14. A 14 is going to do it to hit. So you got two hits in. Oh, I'm going to reroll that damage because it's a 2. Luckily I did because that's a, an 11. And a 7. So 18 damage on the two hits. Okay. That was quite the smacking. Double smack. That is a big snack, but this is a big frog, and he ain't looking to go out today. All right. So he actually kind of steps back. If a frog can step back, he slides Don't you go back anywhere, frog! Into the water. He is, he is like, bleeding from, from the sides of the mouth, from the eyes, from the nose. Like, you can see, like, depressions in his head where he's been mashed on by that I hammer. I can imagine. Much. He he is like dipping back into the water, so the only thing you can see is like the top of his head. Mm-hmm. That's it. That is his move. It is now. Bump a bump. The frog is standing next to you, with a watery wand up his nose. He looks at you. He is intrigued, and he looks at me. And I look at him. <laughs> he shakes his head like that, and the, the wand actually might come out of your grip. Roll a strength check. That's a 13. All right, so yeah, you hang on to the thing. It is just dislodged oh, from his man. nose. Did it and, break? Uh, hmm? Did it break? No, it did not break. It is a powerful item. It is not going to break like that. No, I meant the crystal in the end. No. All right. No. Also um, a powerful item. But it is going to bite upon you. Or try to. Uh, well, uh, 11 hit. No, Mage. she got mage armor. Okay, so it tries to bite, but it whiffs completely. The whiff. The whiff. The All right. Whiffing. It is now the turn of the smaller frog, which came out to join Winston. Okay. All right, he actually comes out, and he actually jumps towards you. Okay. All right. As he jumps towards you, Yeah, as he jumps towards you, it ain't quite his day. A huge tentacle comes up out of the water that looks very otherworldly. Like think about the like from like Lord of the Rings, the monster in the lake or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's a huge like kraken kind of tentacle, but the end of it almost has like fingers and stuff. It is just covered with like rows of teeth oh, on the little suckers no. and everything, and it just slams down on top of this frog and wraps it up and grabs it and pulls it back into the water. We were not prepared for this. <laughs> <laughs> now that looks like a meal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that has just now happened. It is Bayvon. Don't drop me. <laughs> it, the, the water thing didn't break last time. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and break the thing again. Go on for his it. Face. Just jabbing it into his face. Got it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just. That's a not. Uh, it's no, over five. It's, it's a seven on the strength. It's a seven. Yeah, you bust that thing. So actually, it's the way it goes. Top of the hill, you frog, all the other action, and then the water down below. So 
busting that thing open on his face, it is just going to just wash him down the hill. He is going to ride right past you on a little tiny tidal wave. Roll a strength check to see if you stay upright. So, a saving throw? Yep. Oh, that's going to be a, goodness golly, that's going to be a 18. Yeah, you got this. But he just glides right past you as he's like struggling to get back up. See you later, frog. Attack of opportunity. Yes, sir. Um, Opportune that frog. I'm trying to let him go. I'm going to save the reaction on this round just in case I need it later. Okay. All right. So he slides right past you back towards Winston. And when he gets towards Winston, well, he's approaching Winston. It is your move, though. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go try to kill this frog. <laughs> I'm gonna go try to kill Winston again. Do it. Uh, that's gonna be just a twelve on that one. Twelve? That's gonna do it. Really? Okay. Yeah, he's that got one's, eleven AC. So. This one's over twelve, but not a critical or anything. So two hits. All right. Smack that froggy. Six damage, and then eight damage. So fourteen. Nice. All right. So. Walter actually opens up the mouth and just, and then kind of floats a little bit. He does. As he comes up to the top of the water. Tag okay, him, I him. sprint directly to him and yell, Bavon, come with me now. <laughs> uh, Bavon, come with me now. Okay. All right, as you're sprinting towards the water, are you sprinting towards the water? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> okay. Towards the giant crack and I have a plan. You have a plan? Okay. I want to do it. <laughs> Re- reveal the plan. No, Let's see no, what no, happens. No, no. I don't want I don't want any sort of meta anything. You do you. I'm I'm here. I'm going to buy That by is rules. his thing. You have KO'd on on uh Winston. If we're out of combat, I got stuff I want to do. If we're still in it, we got to There um, is one, but he is prone and he has just been washed out into the water. Okay. So so you say the word if we're out of combat. We're out of combat. All right, so. I sprint towards the frog, grab him by his bottom lip, drag him as much as I can on there, <laughs> open it up and say, "Babe, on, hop in." <laughs> I run and I jump in. Okay, you run jump and jump in, in. I roll in, I grab the tag, and I jam it into him. <laughs> All right, so you roll and you jam that thing in. <laughs> so both of y'all are tucked inside the mouth of Winston. Yeah. And you jam this thing down into his tongue, I guess. Yeah, sure. All right, everything just kind of becomes very ethereal for a moment. You can, like, see through Winston yeah. a little bit. You can see the, the water all around. It's a very odd color. You see these tentacles starting to rise up out of the water. And Winston disappears. And you fall flat on your butts oh, on the bank. Dang. Well, I tried, Bavon. Where you put the tag is the other little smaller end barb that uh, that the other gentleman, Edward, had at the thing with a note pinned to it oh. and two gold coins. It says, better luck next time, fellas. Thank you very much. I think this will advance my career famously. I didn't like that guy from the start. No. <laughs> Edward. <laughs> Maybe one ever since he said his name wasn't important. I told you I could have killed him. We should have. We absolutely should have. So, out of combat. You have done the job. You got two gold coins. And now these giant tentacles are starting to rise up out of this thing. Followed by a massive head with many, many, many teeth. As it roars towards the both of you. I point my stick of dryness at it. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. It is. Uh, it is. It is forty feet away, and it is moving quickly towards you to just engulf you both. I hold up a hammer I'm and sweet. stand behind Bavon. <laughs> All right, Bavon, you point it, and as it closes in, like it completely blocks out the sun behind it as it closes in upon you. And is about to just collapse its entire maw down on top of both of you and consume you both. But as it enters range, you activate the end of the little wand and <laughs> the entire center of this mighty Kraken beast is just completely dehydrated and turns into almost like a statue before it starts to crumble on the inside and the tentacles around it that were not dehydrated just fall back to the water. Well, that was disappointing. All right, Stump, let's gather up the tentacles. That should be good enough. (laughs) I believe you're right. (laughs) Absolutely, I believe you're right. What an adventure. Maybe we can get out of here before the... Is the dehydrated husk floating? 
Now, like the center of it, like the face and everything of it, the body of it has just been completely destroyed. Uh, but there's probably like a good 30 of these huge tentacles that are like just starting to float to the surface and I, landing on the on the sand and the mud behind you. I do lean over to Bavon and say, well, Bavon, do you feel the people of the court were like jerky? Um, the tentacles seem hydrated enough, but we could grab some of the dry parts. We will need something for the walk back. That's true. I love it. I love it. What an end. <laughs> what an awesome. end to an adventure. Awesome. <laughs> Bavon's just going to be yeah. dragging a tentacle. Yeah. Back. <laughs> if this were like a video game or the credits to it, or the, like the credits of a movie, like the credits would roll over just a very long, wide shot of Bavon and, um, and Stump just dragging tentacles through the swamp. <laughs> nice. All right, so I... Just, just epilogue. I can kind of see like you get back to town and you, you've actually like fashioned some kind of a crude craft out of a bunch of the the dried wood that you found, <laughs> and uh, you've actually managed to bring back quite a few of these things. A few of them were, were traded off to the the Brom guy in town so he mm-hmm. could add them to his attraction of oddities. Was there still the boat from the orc army that went through? Oh yeah, that's right. The boat was at the top of the hill where they dragged like it up. A, almost like a barge with like a whole platoon. There you, you go. Load, yeah, load yeah, yeah. Up. You loaded them all up and you, and you get them back to uh, get them back to to town. And then after that, we'll have to see what the further adventures yep. of Stump I, and Babon I bring. Think hopefully, we'll get to revisit Stump and Babon <laughs> in the future. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you really love this and you would you want to hear more of this and you want to maybe belay Dungeon Boy regular Dungeon Boys later or whatever. You know, let me know via Twitter, and we'll make some decisions on our own. Uh, we are going directly to from this to Bryce's campaign next, but like I say, if you like either of those better than normal Dungeon Boys, let us know, and we'll see if we can work something out. Uh, but again, thanks for watching. If you do like us, go to Twitter, follow us at Tank Media Games. There's a pinned tweet on that page that will lead you to our Discord, where there is a Dungeon Boys channel where we can, I mean, all three of us are there, and we can hang out with you and answer questions. I would like to say thank you for letting me take the wheel. Absolutely. I love this world that you've made, <laughs> and I hope that we can continue these adventures well into the hey, future. you've obviously proven yourself as a perfect successor, because that was exceptionally fun, and I love playing the character, so you, it would not be hard to convince me to you know, change up for a while. <laughs> nice, nice. I like it. Pass on the, the key. Yeah. All right, funny folks. hat. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Come back next time. We love you very much. Toodles. Later. Bye.